Good evening, guys. What it do? What it do? This is your man Legend back with another tip. Mad 23 by popular demand. I get a lot of questions. How to stop gun tight PA cross. This play can be very, very tough to guard if you do not know what to do versus it. Um, we're going to go right into shutting it down now. Um, first of all, let's talk about why it's so good. It's good because it beats man coverage. It beats zone coverage. Um, it's pretty much just it, it got a, it beats cover too. And that's why a lot of people run it. You can just quick hike it. You don't have to make no adjustments to the play. You just quick snap it and look make a read. Um, but what I like to do to stop it, and you can do this in numerous defensive defensive formations. It's more of a concept more than anything else. Um, but you want to go to your zone coverage and your settings and turn this to match. You see, I got it on default. We're going to put it on match. And we're going to just come out and let's come out in the nickel 3 3 cub and run cover 4 show 2. And as you can see, we're already in the PA crossplay. Now, this is without adjustments. We're just going to, um, we're going to hike it without any adjustments. And we're going to see what happens. As you can see, that happens. Now, the reason why that happens is because we got our match service on, so our match settings on, and this guy's responsibility is to man up to this tight end. So he drifts in and downward, right? And by the time he realizes the tight end is going vertically up the field, it gets this little weird bump animation, and the tight end gets over the top leverage, just like that. And it's an easy high point pass. And people have been doing this all year, as you can see. That would get open. So, what I like to do to combat this whole logic and um, to stop that animation from happening, um, okay, we baseline press, and I always um, manually hot roll my corners to stay off coverage like that. And you see these quarter flats? We want to turn these quarter flats to curl flats. So, all we can do is you can manually. Move them, I mean, hot rod them to curl flex, or you just play over the top coverage, hit Y, and hit the right thumbstick up. And as you can see, they turn into curl flex. Now, we don't have to do nothing with this safety, move him or anything, but with this tight end side on his right hand side, with this safety, we want to move him up and towards the middle of the field, just like this. Other than that, guys, we don't, we can, we can blitz out of this formation, or we can just run it stock like we're doing right now. And this is pretty much it. And we when we can go ahead and set it and forget it. And we're gonna hike it and make our read. As you can see, the safety is in better position to make that play. As you can see, let's see how the safety plays it. He drifts a little bit, but he stays over, he stays over top leverage on it. As you can see, we're able to make a play on the ball. Now as you can see, this corner route that kills man a lot. We're in match coverage. Our corner latches onto that. There's no place to throw that. And this is gonna, the middle linebacker is going to be our user, guys. So we can take away this inside route right here and let it and pass it off to this latch on um, linebacker right here or DB. You see how he's going to be right there in good position to make a play on that. And. This corner route is tremendously bad over here on this left side. This 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 route has no chance of getting open at all. At all. And there's one more. There's one more play that I go over that a lot of people like to run is bench. And like I said, we can all uh, baseline press play over the top coverage. Back these guys off. We want to still set up our defense as if they're running PA cross, just in case. Like I said, you might you can slide these guys out to get a little bit more outside leverage. So if they run a regular bench concept like this, the the out route should be bad, as you can see. It's not. It's not. I I would give that up every now and then. You know, I'm not too concerned about that. You really want to stop the flood corner route concept. So when they go, put two streaks on the field. We still can um, baseline press, play over the top coverage, and wow. 
And that's it. And like I said, we still slide this guy back and put him in the middle of the field accordingly. And when they try to run these notorious corner routes to flood the sideline, we should be in great position to make a play on the ball. As you can see, it will not get open. This is the bag for some of the popular setups and gun tight guys. Hopefully you guys get in the lab and enjoy and hit that follow, subscribe, click the bell on the icon for us on YouTube. Help get this video out there and help my channel grow on YouTube. Thank you guys for y'all support and get in the lab and just be great, man. And lock up gun tight and make some money. Let go.